Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we will create a schematic symbol, the symbol which is not present in the KiCad library. We will call this particular library and then perform the simulation. So in this particular tutorial, we will simulate the OR gate or a digital OR gate simulation. I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below for more such videos. Now we have already created kicad underscore or gate schematic file. So now click on tools, click on the symbol editor and we can see the loading symbol library. So close this, I mean uh, this is the error which is uh, in my system so I'll just click OK now uh, what we have to do is that we have to create the library for the OR gate now uh, in KiCad global library we don't have 7432 OR gate so what we have to do is that we have to first create the new library so I would use only for this particular project so use this particular library with respect to kicad underscore or underscore gate project and define the file name as 74hc32 and click OK. Now click on the 74hc32. Now we have to define the symbol so the symbol name has to be defined so define this as 74 h c 32 and the default reference will be u the number of unit pin or the number of units per package will be 5 so define show pin number text show pin name text and pin name so now you get this particular window where the 74huc32 is defined okay now we have to define the shape of this particular or gate so either it can be in a form of a or gate symbol or it can be in a form of a rectangle I would prefer to make things easier and I would select as a rectangle now click on rectangle and draw a rectangle as shown in this particular tutorial so once this particular rectangle has been drawn we have to define the various input and output so click on add a pin port and we have to define the pin name and pin number so I would define the pin number as 1 and place this on the rectangle similarly define the pin number as 2 and place this on the rectangle next we have to define the output so select the electrical type as output and define the pin number as 3 and place this on the rectangle now you can see that on the top it is defined as unit a so you remember that we had defined 5 unit so we get the similar rectangle but we have to edit the pin properties so define the pin number as 4 click OK and define the pin number as 3 or 5 and click OK next we have to define the pin number as 6 which is the output now click on unit C and similarly we have to change the pin number so define this particular pin number 
as 9 and click OK and double click on this and define the pin number as 10 and click OK. Now also the output pin number must be changed. Now similarly we have to select the unit D and we have to define the pin number as 12 and 13 and then later on define the output. So define the pin number as 12 and define that as input. Double click change the pin number to 13 and define this as input. Double click and change the pin number to 11 and define the electrical type as output. Now we have defined all the unit from A to D. Now we have to select the unit E and undo the synchronized pin edit mode and delete the input and the output pins. Now click on the add pin port and place this on the schematic. Now define the pin name as VCC and define the pin number as 14 and select the electrical type as input and click OK. Now in order to rotate press R and place this particular input pin. Similarly we have to place the output pin or the bidirectional pin and define the pin name as ground and pin number as 7 and click OK and place this particular ground pin on the symbol which we have done which is for unit E. Now save this particular symbol and close this symbol editor. Now double click on the schematic capture or the schematic editor window. Now click on add symbol and now from this particular library select the 74HC32 symbol which we had created earlier and place the unit A on the schematic window and click escape. Now place the symbol and then select the unit E because we have to define the ground and the VCC connection for this particular circuit simulation. Now click on add symbol and in the filter type p spice and select the voltage source so we require the two voltage source which is defined as the pulse for pulse or the pulse input for this particular or gate simulation and place the second voltage source in the schematic window next click on add port and type ground and place the ground connection on the voltage source 1 and the voltage source 2 and next we have to click on wire and connect the voltage source to pin number 1 of the OR kit and voltage source second voltage source to pin number 2 of the OR gate. Now click on add symbol and select the voltage source 
place this particular voltage source on the schematic window this particular voltage source is used to power the R gate so connect the voltage source to pin number 14 of the R gate and the pin number 7 must be connected to the terminal 2 of the voltage source now we have to place a ground connection for this particular voltage source so place the ground connection as shown in this particular tutorial now click on global label and place the global label VCC on the schematic window now in case if there are multiple OR gates or any other gates such as AND or NAND then we have to place the global label or else this particular global label is not necessary now right click on the OR gate which OR gate symbol which we had created and we have to define the model for that particular OR gate so select the model click open and select 74HC32 and define the alternate node sequence that is 1 2 3 14 and 7 so 1 2 1 2 defines the input 3 defines the output 14 and 7 defines the VCC and the ground and now define the reference as U1 and select OK now right click click on property define the reference as VCC define the value as 5 volt and right click click on property define the reference as V V1 or V in 1 V input 1 and define the value as 0 click on spice model click on the pulse define the initial value as 0 pulse value as 5 delay time as 2 micro rise time as 10 nano fall time as 10 nano pulse width as 2 microsecond and period as 4 microsecond and click OK similarly right click click on properties define the reference as V in 2 define the value as 0 click on spice model define the pulse define the initial value as 0 pulse value as 5 delay as 2 micro rise time as 10 nano fall time as 10 nano pulse width as 2 micro and period as 4 micro and click OK now click on the label pin and place the label in 1 and place the label in 2 and click OK and also place the label out and click OK now we are done with the circuit design now go to place click on add text and define this as dot tran 1 nano and 8 micro and place this on the schematic window you can see that I have removed the global label PCC so when do we require a global label now let me go to add symbol and click on 74HC08 okay or 74HC00 which is a two input AND gate so you can see uh, in case uh, if we have a NAND gate or any other gates okay we have to have the global label uh, so that this particular global label uh, is common so I will remove this particular global label as well as the uh, 74 
zero zero gate now let us simulate this save this particular schematic go to inspect click on simulator and run the simulation now you can see the output okay now let us add the signal or place the probe on the input and also place the probe across the input too now you need you know the function of or gate 0 and 0 is 0 0 and 1 is 1 1 and 0 is 1 1 and 1 is 1 so for the input signal 0 and 0 output has to be 0 and for input signal 1 and 1 output has to be 1 so now add the signal V out you can see for 0 and 0 it is 0 and for 1 and 1 the output is 1 now let us change the conditions okay so go to property click on uh, spice model of uh, source v2 define the delay time as 1 micro define the pulse width as 1 micro and period as 2 micro and click ok now simulate this now add the signal v in 1 and add the signal v in 2 now you can see the different changes in this particular signal now go and add the output signal also so now you can see when the input 1 and when the input 2 okay in this particular example the V out is low that means the both the condition that is V in 1 and V in 2 must be low so you can see in this particular example that both V in 1 and V in 2 are low okay so once the v in 2 signal goes high the output goes high thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below